in instances where Amendment 698 faced rejection in Massachusetts and Janet Mills' stance in Maine was overshadowed by misguided priorities, the plight of homeless veterans was egregiously overlooked. What about the military folks that are getting out of the military and they have to go through all the lines to start all over again, even though they have credentials? So my question, pretty simple, why would we fast track them and we won't do it for our own military? They have the advantage of speaking the language, most of our military folks. So these folks that we're really working on may not have that. So it's going to be really difficult for them to say, yes, I used to be an uh, electrician in my country. I'm just using mine, which is Somalia. But that might not really fall into our laws that we have in this country. Decisions that elevate the needs of illegal immigrants above those of homeless veterans are perceived as a disregard for the sacrifices made by our military personnel. It stands as a moral imperative to extend support to veterans and cater to their requirements, contending that elected representatives are duty-bound to prioritize the well-being of citizens over non-citizens. Neglecting the needs of military veterans in favor of undocumented immigrants could potentially yield dire consequences, raising concerns about the broader implications of such policies on national security and societal cohesion.